Yo, what is up, y'all? My name is Devin, and today I'm going to be discussing a topic that I hold very near and dear to my heart, top surgery. Let's go ahead and see how my results are looking. I'm about five months post-op. This is my bad nipple that I don't love. This is my other nipple that I love. I try to love them equally, but obviously it's kind of hard when one looks a little bit more aesthetic than the other. So I realized something that hurts my heart to the fucking core. A lot of people wait until after they get top surgery to start training their chest. If this is you, please, please, please stick to the end of this video because I'm going to break down why you should be training your chest before before you get top surgery. But before we get into that, make sure if you're new here news and not subscribed, you go ahead and press that subscribe button down below to help my channel grow. If you are interested in coaching where we can get you prepped for top surgery, even if you plan on having top surgery in five years, next month, even if you plan on never getting top surgery, it is still worth it to train your chest, okay? This is why. You may not even need top surgery. And that's kind of like counterintuitive because I feel like a lot of trans masculine people just assume that they have to get top surgery, especially trans guys. You know, you see other people get top surgery. It just seems like part of the process. It's possible that that your chest may be small enough that you don't even have to get surgery. You could end up looking like a cis guy with a case of gyno. And if that's the case and you're comfortable with living with that, then there's no need to get surgery. But if you just never train your chest, you know, you train your other body parts, you train biceps, back, all of that, but you simply don't train chest, you're missing out on the potential to never have to go under the knife, to never have to spend $10,000. That's the first reason why you should train your chest before top surgery. You might not even need it. If you're a little bit heavier or simply you have more chest, you still want to train your chest chest, it's still not a lost cause because you're going to be giving your surgeon the best, the best blueprint to follow. The last thing that I want to see is going into someone who may not be super experienced, who may not be an artist when it comes to top surgery, and they just slice you up, throw some nipples on there, and send you on your way because they didn't care and you weren't able to apply some control of the situation. The most amazing thing that I'm so proud of myself is that I did train my chest before top surgery. I literally sat there with my surgeon. He like looked at my chest. He lifted up the little fat that I had. He was like, this is where we were able to draw the line. And I was like, I want my nipples to go here. If I didn't train my chest, if I didn't value all the work I put into the gym, I wouldn't have been so fucking strong worded with him. I was like, bro, like this is what I want. You have to make this happen type shit. And that's the kind of strength and that's the type of courage that you have for yourself. If you spent time, you know, you spent fucking hours. I spent like literally years in the gym building my chest up. I wasn't just going to walk into any office and let any old dude chop my shit up and send me on my way. Even if you feel like I have a big chest, that's never going to work for me. I promise you, you have to have a vision. You don't know what you can accomplish until you start working towards you have to start chipping away. You're going to have so much more confidence in going into your consultation if you know that you've been working your ass off. It's like preparing for a test. If you go into the test and you didn't study for shit and you're like, hey, this is me, the result may come out a little different than if you're like, hey, I've been working out. These are inspirations that I have. This is what my chest looks like now. Things are going to come out a little bit differently. Not to say that if you don't work out, your surgery is going to come out bad. Obviously, we know that's not going to be the case, but if you can maximize your results to get the most aesthetic outcome as possible, that's a chance you have to take. And if it takes going to the gym, I promise you, we have it in us to do that. And the last part of why you should train your chest before you get top surgery, if you even need top surgery, is because it's going to tell dysphoria to fuck off. It's going to tell dysphoria, yo, bro, I don't fuck with you. Like, you need to leave the chat. The amount that my dysphoria kind of alleviated when I started to train my chest, when I started to see my pecs, bro, you couldn't pay me to be not hype about that. Like, I was off the chain when I started to see my chest go, and that just made me hungry for more. That dysphoria that you feel that makes you want to tear your skin off, that makes you feel cramped as fuck in a binder, you know, you're taping yourself down and all of that. That dysphoria can be helped 150%. If you train your chest, you're going to start to see results after a couple months, even after a couple of years. And if you're on the fence about training your chest right now, please, please, please reach out to me. We can talk about it. No strings attached. We'll get you there. If you are interested in coaching, go ahead and email me. Follow me on Instagram. It's going to be linked in the description down below. And like I always say, Devin loves you. Devin to dawn. And Devin is out of here, boy. Ah.